Okay, so today we're playing Modern Enchantress again. And, let's see, this looks actually okay. It's a little slow, but I've got the ghostly prison, so... Yeah, I think we can do this, so we'll keep. Alright, so... Nice, my opponents. And yeah, see what they're gonna play here. Okay. Oh, uh, affinity, uh, some form of affinity. Okay. It's going to be important for me to get my lands out pretty quick then, or my ghostly prison up pretty quick. Especially, like, the, the big shields. I was expecting you to drop your whole hand. Alright, let's see. Oh, okay. <coughs> so, not so great for affinity start. Okay, so let's go and grab a plains. So I've got lots of forests. Oh, double ghostly prison is going to be nice. So forest, next turn I'll play in Canopy Vista. Okay, and drop a ghostly prison. I think I'll do this, I'll have to do the same thing for turn four. Drop another ghostly prison. Let's see. Uh, yeah, affinity is like super powerful, so it's going to be really tough to 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 beat them. So we'll see. I have to get a little bit lucky here. So he's going to be able to swing in for oof, a lot. Okay, but the shields up might be able to help me here. He might not be expecting to have to, have to deal with a whole crap load of enchantments. Okay, so I'm going to take. Okay, so... F <laughs> That's gonna hurt. Okay. Alright, so, um, let's see. Let's play Canopy Vista. Okay, I gotta be really careful here because I have to be able to get this down. Okay, so Canopy Vista. I will tap it for Utopia Sprawl on this forest. Okay, that will produce white. Good, so tap and tap and throw out a ghostly prison. Alright. Okay, so that means my opponent's going to only be able to attack me with one of his creatures right now, which is great. And then... Let's see. Oof. Oh no. Okay, let's see. Yeah, can't cast anything. Good, good. Shields are holding. Alright, so let's go Canopy Vista. Tap, tap. Ghostly Prison. Ah, he knows it. Good. Well, that's good and bad. Please play Idle on a Blossoms. Alright. Alright, so let's see. He needs to pay four mana just to attack me with one creature. So that's good. Shields are shields are up, which is nice. Alright, so you can't attack me. Alright, so let's go play my forest and as per request, let's get down Eidolon. <laughs> yeah, it's so yeah, so my opponent's saying he loves the idol on yeah, it's uh it's so good. Like Eidolon's really a like, key to the like central to the whole deck. And now I can throw down a greater Oromancy. Okay, and start just drawing stuff. Okay, so my, my opponent still can attack me, but it's going to be tougher and tougher as it goes. If he doesn't kill me quickly, it's going to be really, it's going to be really hard. Oh, he didn't even attack at all. Weird. Okay. Well, let's throw down Sun Petal Grove, and go with. Uh, Okay, another Eidolon. 
Okay, drawing two cards. He might he'll probably have something in his sideboard to deal with this. Okay, so Sigil's really good. Corsair of Crufix is good. Okay. What do I want? Uh let's go blind obedience because then I can actually get um because then I can I can extort with it. Okay, and I can start attacking my opponent. Okay, Terramorphic Expanse is good. Okay. And well let's throw might as well throw down Utopia Sprawl. Okay, and I don't have the mana for extort right now, but that gets that down, and we'll produce a uh, green. Okay. Sphere of Safety is awesome, so next turn, I, do I just win? Okay, because I've got Sigil of the Empty Throne, and then Sphere of Safety. I think I might be able to get them both out next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine mana next turn? Let's see, I do, cannot get them both out next turn. Okay, so let's go, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, and five, throw out Sigil of the Empty Throne. Okay, no, I'm not going to extort. Okay, and we'll tap this for two green. Thank God I got green there. Okay. Uh, his opponents all have... Yeah, basically I can use Porphyry nodes. So let's throw out Utopia Sprawl. Okay. Um, always yield. Um, no, I don't want to extort. Okay, I always yield to get an angel. Okay. I'm going to have to be careful I don't mill myself out by accident here. Okay, the Utopia Spall will make green. Okay, so Arbor Elf. Uh, no. Okay, and let's say Porphyry Nodes. Okay. No. Okay. Alright, and now I'm going to have to discard a whole crap load of cards. Okay, so let's discard Terramorphic Expanse. I don't think I need a Dillic Tutor, so I'll discard. Oh, ah, oh, I played it. Crap, that's not what I wanted. That's okay. I thought it was on my on my cleanup step. Okay, well, uh, let's see. I Dillic Tutor. Uh, I don't need and hmm, hmm. I guess I could always get rid of. Forest. All right, there we go. All right. So there we go. Next turn. Okay, so can't be regenerated. Okay, so we'll get rid of his signal pest. Eventually, I'll have to get rid of my arbor elf, but by that time, I'll have like so much stuff out it'll be ridiculous. So, swing in with both angels. Alright. Oh no, I forgot to play all my enchantments. Crap! That's not what I wanted. Oh well. Um, what to get rid of? Pfft, wind swept teeth, I guess. Foolish of me. Foolish, that's totally a misplay. I could have, like, locked the game out for next turn. But I might be able to extort my way into a victory anyway, so I'll be dealing 8 damage next turn, and I might be able to extort for 4, so I still might be able to do it. Okay. Alright, so take, uh, take away his other signal pest, and his ornithopter. I shall do ornithopter right now. Okay, so let's go play forest. Get, um, hmm, what to do? Let's, well, let's throw out fertile ground. Fertile ground on, I don't know, this forest. Okay, so Sigil of the Empty Throne is going to make me another yes. 
Okay, okay. Okay, grabbing and have another forest there. Be careful I don't mill myself out. Um, let's see, casting sphere. Uh, okay, casting sphere of safety. Okay, so sphere of safety. I'll pay all all my white away. Okay, and green, leaving one green up. Okay. And tap for... No, actually undo. Okay, so... No, I guess I cannot pay for the extortion. Okay, okay. Let's see, uh... Let's untap this, untap. And tap again. And I need three, so let's just go Corsair Crufix. Oh, yeah, so we'll get white. Okay, Corsair Crufix. Paying green and extort, yes. Okay. And I think that's all. Oh, I can still do more. Okay. So let's go one white, one green. We'll get two green, we get Arbor Elf. Okay, and, and let's get that other Arbor Elf out. Okay, no, I can't pay for that. Okay, and look at the board, oh my god. Okay, so let's we'll just attack with both my angels. And I, I really don't think my opponent has anything he can do. <laughs> I'm just going to be afraid of what's going to happen post sideboard here because, um, you know, he's obviously well, likely to have something in the sideboard here. Uh, well, let's see, get rid of Forest. All right. And next turn, I probably, well, I think I just win. What's he got? Destroy all creatures? I don't think so. I don't think blue and red has any spells, it just says destroy all creatures. Even if he did, I could always cast Starfield of Nyx. Okay. Okay, so return non land permanent to owner's hand. Okay. Oh, okay, so got rid of my shroud. Okay. What is he going to do? Echoing Truth or something like that? Like return. Oh. Alright. Good game. I'm afraid of your deck post board. Alright. These are probably just gonna... Uh, I'm, uh, Affinity is such a strong deck, so like, I'm surprised I managed to pull this off. Okay, so I'm gonna need something like... Hmm... Yeah. <laughs> okay, Norn's Annex, Fear of Safety... Okay, let's see. I think Nyx Fleece Ram is not that good. Most of his guys are flyers, so it's not going to block. Um, one thing I did add is uh, Pissing Needle. Okay, uh, after I got wrecked by Tron, um, you know that's going to be really tough there. Uh, so, like, so it was tough. So Pissing Needle might be good because if he puts out a Cranial Plating, I could always name Cranial Plating with Pissing Needle, and then he won't be able to attach it. So that could actually be really strong. I don't know what I'd take out to get it though. Um, Porphyry Nodes was just okay. Let's take, take out, let's, let's put that in there and just see what happens. I don't want to run with 63 cards though, so get rid of Story Circle. Um, I want all the protection I can get. Leyline maybe? Alright, so it could be I just got totally lucky in the first match here. It's, that's likely. So, well, let's see. One victory against Affinity is, you know, is nothing to nothing to shake any, uh, you know, nothing to be sad about. You know, that's a really strong deck. So we'll see what happens here. Okay, especially because he knows my what I'm what I'm doing here. He could easily have like some sideboard tech that could that could wreck me, and he might just play a control game. All right, so we'll just see. Ugh, uh, alright, well, it's not, 
wonderful, but I guess we could do this. I have idyllic tutor search for you know some protection. Idle on a blossoms is good. I can play on turn two, and I could also pit pissing needle into response to some of his stuff. So uh, I think let's keep this. We'll see what happens, anyways. Okay, so oh no creatures. Okay, all oh, sphere of safety's out. All right, um, well forest I guess. Okay, and go. Okay, so sphere of safety is going to be nice, but I got to get five mana before I can do anything. Oh, nothing. Okay, sun petal grove. I want to say I'm surprised about um about uh, this. Like about uh, Sun Petal Grove, a lot of people like not a lot of people play it as a dual land, but I mean, like most of the time, it's actually really really strong. Okay, so always yes, always yield. All right, so I don't know why people don't really play it more often. Idyllic Tutor would be good, so let's throw out a forest, and Metal Town does one damage to each opponent. Oh, that could be really bad. So, what do I do? Do I do Idyllic Tutor, or do I just shut off Pith uh, Nettle Drone? Okay, so I think I should try and shut off Nettle Drone here. So he can't just ping me one one at a time for the whole thing. Okay, so let's see what happens here. <laughs> Yeah, my opponent's like, oh no, yeah, like, that's why I think adding Pissing Needle to this deck is actually pretty strong. It's not an enchantment, uh, but it's, you know, as an artifact, it's pretty good, you know, being able to shut off some abilities, especially Planeswalkers and stuff like that, All right, so, ugh, alright, that's gross. So you still be able to strike me for three, that sucks. All right, oh, another pithy needle is not going to be bad, so let's go and get an idle on out. Okay, and hopefully I'll draw into something even better. Okay, might have to take a few beats here. If I draw a land, it'd be amazing. Either way, I can still get Sphere of Safety out in two turns. If I draw a land here, I can get it out in one. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, I don't care about ingesting that much. Oh, that was my land. I guess I do care about ingesting. Uh, it's on your hand until you reveal an artifact, put it on a card. It's a battle from the rest on the bottom. Okay. Okay. A platinum angel. Ho <laughs> I don't think I can deal with that. I might not have the removal for it. You can't lose the game. Your opponent can't win the game. Do I have any way of dealing with a Platinum Angel? I don't know. I don't think I have any removal like that. Except for Porphyry Notes. Oh, that's harsh. And I got rid of my Porphyry Notes. I might not be able to deal with this. We might just, be able to, might just lock out the game. Okay, and I'll end up milling myself out. Well, let's see what happens, I guess. So let's go cast... Oh, okay, so... Cast Utopia Sprawl. Okay, going white. Okay, so play Windswept Heath. Tap. Going for... Greater Armancy. <laughs> Okay. Okay. All right. So I don't. I don't think I have any removal for that. That's going to be really hard. Like really tough to deal with. Okay. So next turn I'll get Sphere of Safety out, which will, uh, which will really protect me there. So I'm not too worried about that. Just remember to crack windswept teeth, then I can start looking for stuff. Okay. Oh, he put that on Nettle Drone? I wonder, does Pithing Needle still affect that? I think it does. 
<laughs> uh, bad, but uh, platinum angel is tough for me. All right. Yeah, you put it on the wrong creature. Okay, so I have to take a million damage here. Okay, he's gonna ingest something. Okay. Pay one life and grab a canopy vista. Okay. Oof, tap Utopia Sprawl onto here. Okay, so let's go hmm, tap, 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 sphere of safety. Okay, and I think that's all I can do. Uh, Alright, so let's, well, I guess I could do fertile ground, so let's just do that. Fertile ground on... Well, I'll just do it on the same one here, I guess. Okay, grabbing a ghostly prison. I guess I could have swung for two there, but it doesn't really matter. He's already at negative life, and I'm at one life. He just can't attack me. One, two, three, four... What's this? I think he's just going to have to mill me out. Alright, so Sun Petal Grove. Let's go... Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do against Platinum Angel. I just don't have the removal for it. Let's go to, uh, Idyllic Tutor and see if I can find something that I need. Do I have anything to get rid of that? Okay, so let's take a look. Starfield of Nyx, that's not going to do anything. Sphere of Safety is not going to do anything. Sigil of the Empty Throne is not going to do anything. Blind Obedience, still not going to do anything. Tuh, I have no answer for that. Alright, so when you got no answers, you just got to concede. Like, I'm running short on time, so I've only got 11 minutes. He's got 18, um, and I also have way fewer cards than him because of my uh, card draw from Eidolon. So I'm either... Uh, so I'm either going to, like, mill out or run out of time. So, I got to concede. No... Sadly. <laughs> Alright, so... Platinum Angel just wrecked me there. Okay, so let's see what can I do. Okay, so let's see. Porphyry Nose has got to come back in. Okay, against that. Norns, uh... Alright, so let's see. What would come out? Um... Pissing Needle was really good against him. I'm going to take Norn's Annex out. I don't want to have to pay the Phyrexian life to cast it. Let's see... Nevermore would be really good. That just wrecked me. Faith Fetters might be good, too. No, it doesn't have any activated abilities. That's a passive ability. So... That's not really going to help. Nevermore is pretty much going to be my chance here. So Nevermore and then Porphyry Notes. Okay, so what do I get rid of for these extra three cards? Let's go down... Um, ooh, I don't even know. Blind Obedience, maybe? One Pithing Needle? Nah, Pithing Needle's so good. Especially with... It disrupts... It just exactly disrupts what he's trying to do. Maybe one Courser of Crufix, and... Ugh, that's harsh. Let's go one... I don't want to get rid of any, any of my ramp. And Idyllic Tutor's pretty good. Hmm, hmm. What to get rid of? I guess an Eidolon, maybe? Uh, Eidolon's so good in the deck. Maybe one Starfield, I guess. Alright, let's try it like this. Alright, yes, do I have... Well, okay, I'll take it. So, uh, Canopy Vista, 
comes in tapped, another kind of be Vista coming in tapped. I can't do anything until turn three anyways, so let's keep this. Nevermore is going to have to go on, uh, I'm going to have to play Nevermore on Platinum Angel as soon as possible, and get, and then get a Ghostly Prison out. Hopefully he doesn't play out too quickly here, so we'll see what happens here. Okay, Sun Petal Grove is pretty good. Uh, let's throw out this because uh, it's going to come in tapped anyways. I can't do anything. But Sun Petal Grove will not come in tapped because uh, these counts as forest and plains. So then next turn I can cast. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of a beating. Okay, so let's get Sun Petal Grove out. Um, I don't think he has enough mana to cast Platinum Angel just yet. So let's let's put up the shields. And I'll cast Nevermore next turn. Okay, so he can either cast a spell or or attack me. Okay. All right, so now got a little bit lucky there. Okay, so let's see. I've got let's throw a windswept piece. Get on Nevermore. Okay, so Platinum Angel. Okay. And go. The only problem is that he has a removal for Nevermore, so he could actually just take that away, like bounce it. Yeah. So I need to find. Oh, no! Alright, well I can just play it again, but being able to bounce something like that is just harsh. So, okay, I'll just play it again next turn. But I'm gonna have to take a little bit of damage here. So, four damage. Okay, and don't forget to... I always forget to crack that. That stuff, so that's really irritating. Okay, so let's see. Throw to Sun Petal Grove. Okay, what do I? What can I get out here? So let's throw out Ghostly Prison again. Okay, and pff, I can't do anything else. Okay. All right. My opponent can still swing in for four if he doesn't attack or if he doesn't cast anything. Okay. keep forgetting to just auto yield to that ability there. Alright. So you can swing in for four with Vile Aggregate. Okay, I can't block with anything, which sucks. Okay. A little bit of my ramp just went away, which sucks. Okay, um... Starfield is not that good right now. So let's start just trying to draw cards. Eidolon. Okay. Oh, yes, okay, yes. Windswept Teeth is pretty good. I already drew lands this turn. Okay, and let's throw out Greater Oromancy as well. Okay, always yield. Nevermore is nice. Okay, so I think I'll target re play Nevermore and target Retraction Helix. Okay, so see he can attack me for five. I'm on kind of a tight clock here. Okay. Okay, so Arbor Elf. Okay, let's see. Well, let's get some life back. So let's go to grab a Corsair of Crufix. Okay, a decent blocker. Alright, and oh, Sphere of Safety is so good. Alright, let's play 
Let's see, Nevermore again, maybe targeting Retraction Helix. And that'll draw me... Okay, the Sphere of Safety. Is he gonna counter it? Oh! I knew it. Alright, well, okay, well let's go to Windswept Heath then. Okay. Give me a little bit of extra life gain. You know, maybe put me out of... Maybe put me out of uh, range there. Okay. So, just sit tight. Alright, so next turn I got Sphere of Safety coming out, and that's pretty much going to make it very difficult for my opponent to win. Madcap Experiment. Okay. Oh, does that just... Oh, no! Alright, well... Okay, I do have a way out of this, though, this time. Okay, I just gotta find it. Okay, so let's go... Uh, five. Casting Sphere of Safety. Okay, I'll draw that Utopia Sprawl. Play a Forest. Okay, gain some life. Play... Oops. Play Utopia Sprawl onto my forest. Okay, I don't want him to ingest that Sphere of Safety. That's why I'm playing it right now. Okay, so, I don't know, make green. Okay. And I think I'm good. I already played a land this turn. Okay. Okay, so my opponent cannot attack me unless he pays... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight, nine, nine. So that's good. All right, this is gonna be a tough match. I have to play quickly too because I'm waiting on so much stuff here. Okay, so let's go to play the Evolving Wilds off the top of my deck. Okay. Okay, so we'll play another Sphere of Safety. And so sphere of safety. Okay, grabbing an arbor elf. We will. Can I have enough to do starfield? No, no, I don't. All right, so let's go. Arbor elf. Okay, and I think that's all I'm going to do right now. Okay, I really would need to be able to. Okay, yeah. Alright, so I'm just going to need to stall out this game until I can find the Porphyry Notes. Porphyry Notes is going to take a couple turns to eventually, it'll kill my own creatures as well, but Porphyry Notes will eventually kill all of his stuff too. Okay. Okay, and let's crack this. Hopefully I can... The good thing is, when you can see the top of your deck, you can actually just cause it to reshuffle there, and so that way I can see if I'm getting what I want. So I don't want a pissing needle right now, so I'm going to tap that and go to grab another forest. Mm, evolving wilds, not really what I wanted. Pfft, I guess it, the, they just really want me to have a pithing needle. Alright, so... Hmm. I don't really want to play Starfield or Nyx right now, because when I get Porphyry Nodes, that'll just kill everything. So, let's go play an Evolving Wilds, I guess. Start thinning my deck. Okay. You know, I don't want to play any creatures, and I'm just looking for that one card I need. Can I find it in five minutes? Okay, that's a passive ability. Alright, Greater Oromancy is going to be great if I can get it out, but... Alright, well... Play a forest. Okay, get a life, go. I actually wouldn't mind having Greater Oromancy out. Okay, because it's going to draw me some cards. <coughs> Let's see what's happening here. Madcap Experiment. Okay, so he's looking for... Oh, Double Platinum Angel. Still, my Porphyry Nodes is a... Uh, We'll still we'll take care of that. I'm not too afraid. Alright, so let's go to Sack Evolving Wilds. 
Okay, and grab a forest. Oh, idyllic tutor's awesome. Okay, perfect. Okay, that's exactly what I want. Okay. Well, not exactly what I want, but I'll take it. Oops. Okay, I've got so much extra mana. Okay, let's go white, white, greater Ormancy. Okay, everything's got a shroud. I can look, for, I can tutor for what I need now. Okay, I want Porphyry nodes. Okay. Pay one, get Porphyry nodes out. And pay three, get Corsair Crucifix out. So uh, give me some extra life gain for now. Uh, that was actually stupid. I shouldn't have played that. Because it's just an extra turn where I'm going to have to get land. So, alright. So, no more. Okay, so. Okay. Get some extra life. Okay, so no more creatures can come out. I gotta play fast here. Okay. And. Go. Okay, so at the beginning of my turn, I'm gonna start to be able to destroy all those creatures. Eventually, I should just straight out attack now. Force him to kill my creatures, and then I can kill his creatures. Yeah, so next turn I'll just flat out attack him, and then my Porphyry Notes will kill his creatures. I've got double Greater Ormancy, so all they're shrouding each other. Okay, so that's going to be good. Okay, so Porphyry Notes on my upkeep will... Okay, so good. Always yield. Okay, destroy... What? Kozilex, whatever. Alright, I've never thought Porphyry Nodes would actually win the game for me, but we'll see if I can do it in time here. Alright, so, well, I guess that's a, you know, it's nice to have this card in there. It's my only form of removal, like in this case, against something like Platinum Angel. Okay, so I'm going to kill that. Okay. Uh, go. And I will attack with everything. Okay, go. Are you going to block? It's stupid of him to block. Like, well, I guess he doesn't really see what's going to happen here. Because when he kills my creatures, then it's just upping, it's just speeding up the clock for me. Right? And he already has Platinum Angel down, so there's nothing he can, you know, there's nothing that's really going to do anything there. Alright, so what, what does he have? Another Nettle Drone? Okay, so he's got to get his creatures out. I'm just going to auto yield to the whole turn. Okay, with a course of Crucifix out, I can just gain life back when, whenever I play any land, so that's okay. It's going to be hard for him to bolt me. Okay, we'll take out Kozula, I think, play this, get some life back. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to get some of my life back. Now I need to wait like a whole crap load of turns before my Porphyry Nodes will do anything here. So I'm just going to auto yield. Man, it's going to be coming down to the wire here. Okay, I should crack my Terramorphic Expanse before he kills my Corsair of Crucifix. Okay, and then eventually I'll get the uh, Porphyry Notes will kill his Platinum Angels, and then I'll just win the game. So I gotta wait one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight turns. Okay, assuming, assuming he doesn't ever, or he doesn't ever attack me, or he doesn't kill any of my creatures. I should still attack every turn. Hopefully he'll kill my stuff. All right, so my, let's see, I'll just crack this for now. Get a planes, okay, go. Okay, go. I will auto yield. Okay, yeah, he's got to get all this stuff out. Although I don't think that really helps. Okay. Alright, so I can kill something. 
one of his. Okay, let's, uh, well, might as well get out. I think I tapped too much land. That's okay. Sphere of safety. I got so much mana, it's not even funny, so. Okay, um, might as well throw a utope. Well, let's throw that out here. Get some life back, and. Yeah, okay. Attack with all creatures, okay. It's gonna block. Yeah, he knows what I'm doing. If he kills my creatures, then it's just gonna speed up the clock here. So he's gonna try and ping me in time before I get rid of his uh, before I get rid of his stuff here. So I'm just yield. Okay, so next they're gonna be my two twos. So my Eidolon's gonna go away, and also my Corsair is gonna go away. Okay, can he deal enough damage to me though? Can he ping me down in enough time for, or is it, this is actually an exciting match. All right, so can he ping me down enough or, or am I gonna just get killed here? Okay. Uh, okay, so Eidolon's gonna go. Sun Petal Grove come in. Oh, okay. Oh, I yielded crap. Okay, that's okay. Uh, it's not okay. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have auto yielded, then I could have played that Sun Petal Grove. Alright, well, here we go. Okay, so there goes him. There we go. Okay, so let's see, we're gonna get rid of... Uh, he's not gonna be able to ping me anymore. So can he get me down? Next is Nettle Drone is gonna go. Okay, deal one damage. So I'm in double bolt range. Does he have double bolt? Nope. Okay. Uh, we'll just throw away Pithing Needle. Okay. Go. Oh, I think I may have got it. I think I may have it. Okay, so Platinum Angel number one is gone. Uh, throw away Windswept Teeth. Okay. And then once I get rid of Platinum Angel number two, he's just totally toast. Oh, this might be the best victory ever. Oh, so close. Okay, so Platinum Angel number two. Oh, he didn't pump him. That's why, okay. He's just basically stalling it. Okay. Let's get rid of uh, Pathing Needle number two. Okay. All right. So, he can't attack. Oh, all right, so let's go just cast Utopia Sprawl. Okay, with white. Okay, um, another Utopia Sprawl. Green, okay, that way I'm not getting rid of this card draw here. Okay, go. Does he have anything that can, that can do it? He's gonna need double bolt to kill me. Oh, he's gotta get that nettle drone out, okay. Okay, pinging me. Okay, all right. Play my forest. Okay, go. All right. Now, does he have anything? Does he have what he needs? This is uh, this is it. Oh. Oh, so close. This is like probably the best game I've ever played with Enchantress ever. Man. <laughs> oh, so good. So good. Like, this is such a good match here. My opponent played really well. You know, like, I just can't believe, like... So shout out to Spectral Fox Gaming. They are, you know, they have their own YouTube channel, so check them out. Um... Yeah, like, yeah, I don't know what their channel looks like, but I'm sure it's awesome. We need to support those small channels. Uh, yeah, GG. So, awesome game. Anyways, if you did like this video, remember to like and subscribe. And remember, uh, leave a comment if there's something you want to see. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.